Hey, this is Jill Sessa of Ask Jill Sessa. It feels like I've had to recut this video uh, four times over the past year, if not more frequently than that, um, because of Facebook changes. A big fan of using your friends lists in all sorts of ways that you can manage it. So my wonderful friend Tracy Dina allowed me to show you what I see when I look at somebody else's page. So for instance, what you see when you look at somebody else's page. And the very cool thing is we have tons of mutual friends, so I also see all of these wonderful shining faces that I love so much. There used to be a friends button and a subscribe button. That seems to have gone the way of all sorts of other things on Facebook. So if you are already friends with somebody, but maybe their updates are overwhelming you, or Maybe you're like me and you realized you weren't seeing enough of Tracy. This is how you're going to go in and manage some of that. So first you look at their wonderful smile and check out their cover photo, of course. You click over here on friends, because we are friends, obviously. Once I click here, you can see all of the lists that I can add somebody to. The ones with the lightning bolt are predetermined because of things that are in your profile. And then the rest of these are lists that you can decide to make. So Tracy and I know one another from Buffalo, and I also consider her to be a close friend. So she's in those lists. And I'll show you right after this how I use those lists very frequently. Before you expand this, so you've got to close that back out and then expand it again. Go into Settings. So you've got choices to make here. You can display them in your news feed or choose not to. So if you click on it, it says that you're not going to show them in your news feed. Then if you click on it, then the settings button is underneath. And this is where you see what types of updates you see both in your news feed and on the ticker on the side. I tend not to like um, seeing like all my friends' comments and, and you know and their activity and what, what newspaper articles they read and stuff. I, I think a lot of people don't even realize how much that they're even sharing. But I certainly want to know about their status updates and their photos and their life events. I love seeing people's photos. That's my thing. So you can kind of choose. I never want to see people's games, and I'm saying that publicly for all of my friends that play games. I never, ever, ever, ever want to see your games, okay? Um, and stop inviting me to them. So this, again, used to be, and you can see archives of other videos I've done, this used to be a separate subscribe button and a friends button, but now in the latest update, they've actually combined these. So you can make your feed a lot cleaner by managing that. And you can do that right on somebody's profile, but also, so say somebody's post came up, okay? And if I was to hover over it, same thing. That friends list would come up and I can make any adjustments that I wanted to here. That's the new way to manage friends. How I use the list feature extensively is in how I do my updates. So I choose which lists see um, certain updates. So you may think that I post a lot, but you're not seeing all of my updates. So I hope that that was helpful for you. So right in here, if I want to adjust my Buffalo Peeps to see something, I could just make sure that's the Buffalo. Just make sure to go and change it back to whatever you like to have as your most frequent one because um, it will stay at this as the default until you change it to something else. Hope that was helpful for you. Yet another Facebook tip in the never-ending, quickly moving. Oh, and I just want to show you something really funny. I'm running a couple of ads right now, and look, I'm getting the ad for Unbridled Marketing Services. So feel free to click on over there. Thanks. Have a great day.